yards. Ross Browder, college football's most decorated lineman, batted away this lateral and made the crucial recovery. I'm Russ Browner, and I'd like for you to meet some of my friends when we get together on Saturday afternoons and have a little bit of fun. This year has been uh, pretty exciting for me because, you know, it's been a great challenge coming off of a great year last year and then coming out again this year. A lot of teams are starting to double team and triple team me and so fighting two or three blockers every time I start a pass rush and then defeating them and then getting to uh, the quarterback really helps out our defensive effort and then plus it's not really disturbing to me because it gives our other guys a chance to get in there and sack the quarterback but I really am very happy on the way our season is going, we really feel like we're more together and blending together as a team. Ross Browder, who had been named Defensive Lineman of the Week against Georgia Tech, propelled the Irish defense once more. Turnovers were another key to the Notre Dame success in the first half. Ross Browner's quick pursuit caused the first one in the opening minutes. UPI, AP, the Football Writers Association, and the National Football Foundation all chose the Irish national champions. The title highlighted a season which must be rated one of Notre Dame's greatest of all time. Ross Browner smashed Notre Dame records and opposing quarterbacks with equal proficiency. He won the Maxwell Trophy as the College Player of the Year and was named the Defensive Lineman of the Year by UPI and the Downtown Athletic Club. He won the coveted Lombardi Award and finished fifth in the Heisman Trophy balloting.